The next episode of Reality Resort is finally here. All right, after about a month, we're finally back with Reality Resort. I don't remember most of the characters' names. If I can find some graphics I was looking at, I will flash them up here. I only remember a few characters' names though. Finn, who I really like, the cowboy, Texan looking guy. And then Drew, probably the, one of the characters I hate the most. Oh, and Marcus too, a character I'm also not too fond of, so this is fun. Another thing I know is that there some of the voice actors have been swapped out due to some circumstances. I don't remember, like, I don't, I don't recall if it was anything bad at all. I think it was just some business. But regardless, some voice actors have been swapped. I really wonder what else has changed. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Previously, on Reality Resort, 16 tourists were introduced to their brand new home for the next few days. Here we go. I still don't know anything about Big Brother, teams, so we'll figure it all out here. The competition of the season unfolded. Inaugural. What better way to kick off the festivities than by concocting a drink for their beautiful host? Cocktail. Mm, seriously? I have to say that? Oh, anyway. uh, in the end, the two cans successfully outmatched the emu for the win, <laughs> securing their first I don't, legacy I don't think this guy likes his job. Safety for the rest. <laughs> Do I have to say that? Both teams will nominate an emu for eviction, but which two will it be, and who will ultimately lose the block battle, becoming our first loser of the season? All right. We'll find out now on this episode of yeah. Reality Resort. The slapping of Drew, I remember that. I remember that, and I loved it. It was so satisfying to see. Marcus, Isador, Kylie, Cheryl, Annalise, Charles, Brad, Finn, yep, Seth, Olive, Monica, Drew. VJ, Topaz, Tino, Sarah, and then just everything on the ground. And then Victoria, the hostess. I know Monica is one of them who had, whose voice has been changed. I think she has Ellie's voice actress from this venture. Day two. Ooh. Thanks again for cooking his breakfast, Finn. These eggs are the bomb. Seriously? <laughs> what can He's a, you He's an over just looking at I'm Drew. Like cooking is one of my guilty pleasures. Just wanted to express my gratitude. Guilty pleasures? Ain't nothing, nothing wrong with cooking. Victory. Ain't nothing wrong with cooking. We could be here to celebrate too. Their loss. More for me. I think Isidore just. Respect to everyone at all, buddy, buddy. I'm surprised it even took this long for divisions to form. It's literally day two. Why is he scratching his hair with the fork? So That's disgusting. Oh, oh, there you go. Delicious. Yep, now still a bitch ass. Me. I have some toilets to inspect. Isidore, kick, so kick him while he's down. Er, oh, I put guess, him down yes. and then kick him. Yep, so we already have rivalries forming. So, Finn. And they're, are they trying to form an alliance? For fossils, you... Go with a team, right? Are they trying Always. to form an alliance with Finn? I actually go solo, especially lately. I've been needing some time myself. <laughs> I get Jeez. really get to work sometimes. Oh, well, okay. But you do work with a team, right? You like rely on each other to help excavate it's like, the like, are you at least still a team player? Research, right? Sure, but only when I get back to the lab. When I'm out there in the field, it's all me. It can get lonely sometimes, but... Oh, would you just catch my girl's drift already? It's okay. What Stream Queen was trying to say was... She wants an alliance. I'm thinking about the three of us creating an alliance. You seem to have quite the skill set. Oh. Well, and and obviously, Isadora and Drew are going to tear each other apart. Oh, sounds just fantastic. So I definitely feel like Finn and those two will definitely have an advantage. Oh, Yay, oh no, she actually likes him. Her face says it all. She actually likes him. Three eggs scrambled, bacon extra crispy, orange juice freshly squeezed. 
Coming right up, Mr. Marcus. You might want to take care of that. But also, Marcus, what the hell? It's so demanding. Uh, with the way things have been going for me, that checks out. Oh, don't start Bitch the game such a sour note, Marcus. Hey, I know I'll cheer you he up. He has a sour Let's note. nominations. I'm sure that lawyer brain of yours will love this part of the game. Drew, oh, right. nominate Drew. Get his ass, ass out. I decided to hit pay early. Oh, that was quick. Don't catch the wind of anything. Last thing I remember, it was Frat Boy saying he's doing us all solid and scouting out the vibe of the other team. Too jacked up on adrenaline to sleep or something. I don't know. Sounds like a lame excuse to me. He's up to something. You're quick to dunk on Brad, huh? Ah, he reminds me of myself when I was his age. Young, naive, kind of ugly. Oh. Not Damn. sure how I feel about that, but probably sad because I know how he'll turn out. He just straight up said that. Chit chat was nice and all, but I'm off. That juice did not pour out. It just straight up. Oh. Hello, Isadora. It's Isador. totally worth it. Did she, did she so dunk him in the toilet? Of an alliance, made a friend, Wait, did she even go to the bathroom? The challenge. Things could not be going any better. <laughs> Isadora got <laughs> splashed by something. So far. All right, Despite Cheryl. Despite the crap sleep and burnt eggs, overhearing the ginger loudmouth clamoring about some alliance made it all worth it. She's not subtle, but being the good lawyer that I am, that information can and will be used against her. <laughs> oh, great. Marcus is going to be up to something. And there goes Brad flirting with her again. Whew. First lift of the season was a doozy. Hopefully the first nomination ceremony will be too. <laughs> no reason to believe it won't be. Heard myself that Topaz is going to be our nominee. Sucks for her. Oh, what? <laughs> What did she injured last episode? Give her a break. Oh, you know, distraction I'm falling head over heels for me. Just not literally. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves there, Bucko. Oh boy. OMG, guys. That's that Seth, right? Really so, amazing. like, Brad and Seth are forming a there? rivalry? I mean, all 80 something cameras inside this place. Nah, I'm sure they missed it. Phew. Okay, good. I cannot look bad on TV. I have an image to uphold being an ambassador to 12 different brands. With a face like that, I can tell why you're so popular. After this show, I wouldn't be surprised if that number doubles. I have a feeling those two are going to get into some trouble. There's Topaz. Speaking of which, I'm seeing doubles myself. Ha! <laughs> Must be dehydrated. I'm gonna go fill up my water. I'll catch you both. What is he gonna do? Oh, okay. Bye bye. I feel like Topaz has been through enough. Hey, Topaz! You got a sec? Uh, sure. What's up? I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I'd hate to see you get blindsided. Sounds as if your team is going to nominate you solely based on first impressions. Wait, you're serious? Ugh, the figures. So just because I assumed the leadership role, that's the excuse to get rid of me. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Don't let the dude surface and give them another reason to single you out. You're right. I can't believe I'm taking advice from a frat boy. <laughs> well, great. Oh, well, that's, that's how it that works, I guess. Thanks for the heads up. I guess. Hold on. I've got an idea that might work in your favor. I can't I can't tell if Brad's being sincere like or just gaslighting her. To help each other out. <laughs> Another alliance. I'll do my best to get my team to nominate what should be a shoe in for you. Great. And who's so, that shoe in? What are you thinking? Monica, Charles, Sarah. Oh boy. I do not know who he's thinking. Reality resort. Do you want to see Trouble more? in Paradise. Then make sure to check out our Patreon to help the series grow. Your support will help us maintain a consistent release schedule. And in return, you'll receive awesome perks, 
like exclusive Yeet. bonus content and early releases. Otherwise, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, back to this episode of I feel Reality. Like, now, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like Seth and Brad are going to be the biggest troublemakers here. Welcome to and your all because of flirting. Ceremony. I hope you slept well, because things are only going to get more stressful from here on out. I, in fact, did not. Thanks for asking. You'd think the winner's wing would have comfier beds. They do. You just slept on the Conspiracy Nuts retainer last night. That's where <laughs> it went? Bruh, are you still letting me search the toilet? Ooh. Okay, so yeah, Isidore did then dunk him in the toilet. The <laughs> That's how she got splashed. <laughs> one by one, each of you will step up to the Paradise Portal, where the Paradise Portal the losing team will illuminate. Just tap on the ID of the fellow tourists you want to nominate for admission. <laughs> Isidore. After both teams cast their votes, I'll gather the counts. And the chosen faces will pop up on the monitors right here in the living room. Ooh, Cheryl is ready. You look nervous, Tino. Think you might be one of the unlucky victims today? Maybe. I'm a big advocate for proper warm-ups and all, but I don't know if anything could really prepare you for this game. Well put. I'm, I'm like trying yeah, to take the time to connect faces Even to names here. We'll start with you. Go ahead and lock in your votes. Like I know most this of them now. Realize just how imperative first impressions are. Is, is this a jab at Topaz? <laughs> and they really are voting her. Seth, Tino, forgot your name. Brad, Cheryl, I don't remember your name, Finn, Drew, Isador, Marcus, and Elise, I believe. And with that, yeah, Annalise was the one they were flirting with. Very first votes. So it's like two people I haven't remembered the names of. Got serious. Well, you waste no time making us feel uncomfortable. I love it. My pleasure. Damn. Now, the results. Appearing on the monitor to my left will be the Emu's nomination, who happens to be... It's gonna be Olive, isn't it? Topaz. I mean, not Olive, Topaz. As for the Toucans, they nominated... Seth. Topaz and Seth. His face seems utterly <laughs> bewildered. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> Toucans, a successful blindside on day two. Okay, okay, okay. Blindsided Seth. I see how it is. Some of y'all are threatened by me. I take it as a compliment. <laughs> Wait. I'm gonna assume Brad put Seth up onto the plate. You two are in and I'm gonna assume the reason is Annalise. Seems as if since Seth also seems to be flirting with Annalise. Or at least it looks like it. Is our prep period. Now while it usually lasts 24 hours, You'll be receiving 48 for this starting block. Two days. We're going easy on you. I know. <laughs> Just, it hurts me too. Prep period. Here I thought I was getting away from school. Oh my Damn. poor, poor lassie. In many ways, this game will be worse than school. Unless you win. Duh. Then it'll be better than school. Now leading up to our block battle. The two nominees will be given a hint for the challenge so that they can prepare as they see fit. Topaz versus Anybody Seth. may help them, but no one is obligated to. It but is obligated. also at this time that the safe tourists may place bets on the I, outcome of the I honestly team. wonder if Brad actually so is going to help Topaz or if he's just trying to blindside her. In order to choose your winner. Guessing right could earn you some legacy points. But it's wrong and you'll lose a few. What a fun wager. You'll have right until the competition begins to lock it in. Um, are you endorsing gambling? gambling. No, I'm endorsing you zip it. <laughs> Carrying on. The hint will show up on the <laughs> Way to freak her out. Now, I'm late for my lunch, so toodles. I'll see you at the block battle soon. Uh, are you endorsing gambling? No, I'm endorsing you zip it. Wait a sec. I don't normally like pausing, but I want to read this. In a city of light or a tower so tall, where landmarks stand proud, you'll find them all. Pick props in hand, your task is near. Match them fast, shout loud and clear. From pyramids grand to a gate so divine, guess the spot, the challenge is thine. Okay. 
I really don't want to help her out. Well, looks like another reason to avoid nomination then. That was exhilarating. I can check surviving a nomination ceremony off my bucket list now. Ooh, does that earn you legacy points? Probably not. Brad, I was actually able to mentally prepare myself for this. But I'm not gonna lie, it still stings. The last thing I want is for my girls to see me get evicted first. I mean, what kind of a message would that send? I'm actually, I'm actually curious place. what's gonna happen if Seth gets eliminated well, first. That means Brad's gonna have no competition. I don't sweat off my brow. I got drafted for a reason, okay? I'll show them all why, and then circle back for a like, bit of payback I later. Like, I really want Topaz to win. Bright idea this was in the first place, though. It was Brad's. 15 what minutes earlier. Kid? Here we go. I'll make this brief. Topaz is going up, but I'm not convinced it's good for us if she leaves. Uh, hello? Why wouldn't we want her gone? Wasn't she some sort of track prodigy? The current state of her leg is enough of a reason to believe she won't be a long-term threat to us. I was gonna Besides, say, her being like that probably helped you out she's now. She's super bossy. It would help us out if she continued to build discourse amongst the others. Now that's some solid thinking. <laughs> Very so, much so. who should we nominate to give her the best chance to win? In order to you think the Seth? Least amount of feathers, I think there's one emu who's shown that they're at this party for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> you? And who's that? No, Drew. <laughs> Our resident ball player. Seth, really? Dude is a major deviant from the vibes. Trust me, I know guys like him. They're sneaky good at getting what they want. I he honestly feel like it would have been Drew otherwise. Yeah, that's but... why. Totally not because you two NPCs are clearly fighting for the NPCs. Same bimbo. Yeah, it's like who's the bim? Like he's like who's oh, the bimbo? The and then Annalise just Personally, realized they were talking about sure her. Seth would be that easy of a defeat, but admittedly, I haven't thought much about this nomination myself. How do you? Drew is the real bimbo here. <laughs> Simple. The dude is super distractible. Besides, I've dealt with many guys like him, lazily entitled with an interstellar ego. Guy thinks he's untouchable. So what? You're gonna throw Annalise's way? I just love the fact that Isidore really wants to punch Drew, and I am all for it. Isidore is definitely going to become one of my favorites. Man, once I crack the big leagues, I'm getting myself a place to just like this. But I am curious how it can't be, because I definitely feel understand. like Drew is going to be... No, Drew's definitely going to be eliminated sometime. It ain't that Unfortunately, easy, not today. Gotta work your way up multiple levels. A lot of pressure to perform. Yep. Ooh, can't relate. Sorry. This is why Seth is considered working easily distracted. Hardly working. <laughs> Don't you think you should be preparing for the competition? I'm just trying to enjoy myself, man. I got plenty of time until he's, then. He's like, Besides, I, he's like I gotta oh, enjoy I got my last two days. So did the girl next to you. What? <laughs> Your point? Well, Topaz seems to be getting after it inside. She's going ham in there. <laughs> Ooh, ham? I'm I don't... vegan. No thanks. Uh, nope. Eh, hey, I'll be fine. Not sure I even understand what that whack riddle meant anyway. Uh, Hello, Tino. I think Brad's right. You don't want to put yourself at a disadvantage, man. How about I help you out? Look, I'm enjoying my time right now. I got a whole day tomorrow to worry about it. Plus, can't leave this doll alone in the pool. All right. No, she's gone. I like Seth. He's my bunk buddy. <laughs> but I can tell why he hasn't made the bigs yet. His work ethic is non-existent. Uh, I, uh... Oh, feel free to no. say that. I said what I said. It yeah. sucks. Yes, thank tell you. What. It's like it really I'll is non-existent. Can't turn down the two of us. No sense in being here anymore, I guess. Okay, okay. Great, okay. Right, with that attitude, I suddenly right. feel like Topaz is gonna get eliminated. I don't want her to be eliminated. Oh. oh on second thought, I'll meet up with you boys later. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, hey, Brad. Yep, easily Are distractible. You going swimming too? I was just about to leave, actually. I think I'm gonna check on Topaz. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, she likes looks them. like Seth is preoccupied. <laughs> totally. I even offered to help him, but to no avail. Dude's stubborn. Huh. Really? 
Oh, that's cool of you to offer, even after nominating him. <laughs> you seem like a smart cookie. <laughs> I'm ahead inside, but if you ever want to chat, feel free to grab me. Oh, sure, no. what's the plan I here? The hand, but I wasn't actually gonna help him. <laughs> I was just hoping psychology he'd take major. Seems like yeah, that explains a lot. Though. Back but school, it seems the worst case here is he's, he's about to play with it's two girls' hearts. Prez, you know? But in this game, he's flirting with one of them, and one girl problem. seems to actually he's like him. He's already proven to be a major threat to my game. Major threat, but he doesn't train as you're looking. I'm pretty sure John's going to fall below no landmarks, so I'm off to the library to brush up my geography. I'm not just brown, I've got brains too. At least, oh, Topaz. <laughs> I actually have a cross path moon once as a ceremony. Maybe Brad's not the doll after all. It's just that the boys my track team decide to pursue would lead me to leave otherwise. Well, it doesn't take a sidekick to see how this challenge will play out. I believe I'm ready to place my bet. Honestly, I am as well. Has anyone even spoken to Seth lately? He really should be taking this more seriously. He's a big boy, Monica. <laughs> I'm sure he can handle himself. Did he say Mamaka? I'm just glad it's not me who has to study. Good to know my failed bartending career wasn't a big factor after all. <laughs> you tried your oh, yeah. best, VJ. He failed Speaking the last which, challenge. Not VJ. I condone okay. gambling, but I also feel obligated to bet on Topaz here. It would be foolish of me to bestow confidence in someone who forgoes studying. Oh. Okay, bye, Topaz. Wait, I've just gotta ask. Would you read me? Your foresight regarding the competition has me convinced that this would make for an all-time reality TV moment. I'm flattered. It would be my pleasure. Oh. How refreshing. I felt warmth radiating from your aura. You're going to make some wonderful relationships here. Ooh, well that's certainly exciting. I wonder with whom? Off to find out. Oh boy. Uh, that's all? I literally could have told her that. Well, due to its rushed nature, there weren't enough details for more thorough vision. I see. Wasn't it already revealed that she well, was a fake fortune teller? <laughs> you give it a go then, Charles. Uh, oh. Uh, sure. I suppose some insight into my future might be useful. Whatever. <laughs> uh, what? It wouldn't be wise to cast the same spell on everyone here. Too much insight too soon and they'll see through my veil in a heartbeat. Yet, That's all fake. Some of these pedestrians are so easily influenced. Monica. I can't resist sowing a seed of doubt. <laughs> Listen, I'm knee deep in the whole earthy, crunchy scene, but you will never catch me buying into psychics. <laughs> that being said, Olive might just have to be my new spirit guide. I feel like I'll need to oh keep. Oh my her god, close. so many fucking relationships are about to be made. <laughs> Topaz. Calling all tourists. Calling all tourists. Everyone's voting for Please Topaz. Please meet me in the backyard for today's block battle. Our first matchup: Topaz versus Seth. Who probably hasn't even trained this whole time because he's fucking Welcome distracted. Backyard, also known as the challenge area. Many of your competitions will take place here, including this very first block battle of the season. I hope you prepare. Why is why, it's time why to is find out what Annalise exactly looking so worried? Is. Wait, USA, These Chile, continue upon the Egypt, Italy, scene. France, India, Which Australia. Today means vacation. And what do tourists do on vacation? They visit. You know, they go and visit famous landmarks, of yep. course. Without further ado, hey, let me explain how tourist are, attractions are you, Oh, work. are you supposed to connect the Behind landmarks you, to the where they were? Seven popular landmarks. On my go, you will run over to your side of the yard and identify what the landmarks are. Sydney Opera House, that's Australia. Design. The Statue of Liberty is America. You you know the answer, I definitely don't know all of these. The I, of the I, see, I see the Tower of Pizza, or the, the, the Leaning Tower of Pizza, that's definitely Italy. 
buzz in to see if you're correct. If you are, it'll glow green, and you will have officially won this challenge! Speed will be necessary to keep yourself in the game, both physically and mentally. Mental speed. Ready? <laughs> Never felt more prepared. Uh, sure. Sounds like a piece of cake. <laughs> Let's see how well Barbo. you do then. <laughs> Nominees, your block battle begins now. Not exactly what I thought this would Eiffel be. Eiffel Tower. Pretty darn close. I meant to say Eiffel Tower Let's instead of Tower here. Pizza, but the t Tower Eiffel Pizza is Tower. there. Back to France you go. He's gonna copy her, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, they think this is hard. As if I don't know where the Statue of Liberté goes. If he doesn't put the pace, Barbo, move, move, move. We want a picture, not a valley insure. <laughs> what? Gee, haven't heard that one since I was, oh, I don't know, six. Okay, easy though just hates people. Bruh. <laughs> upside down. <laughs> Indian Mosque, if I think that is. would have studied. The Taj Mahal is a beautiful architecture. Taj Mahal, Did you know it okay. Symbolizes the love the Indian emperor had for his wife? Yeah, one of his seven wives. <laughs> don't get me wrong, though. If you build me something that big, then I don't care how many other lovers you have. <laughs> okay. Doi, why do all the work myself? What's she doing it for me? I might have slightly overprepared for this challenge. A lot of these attractions are actually common knowledge, but they're to be safe than sorry. It's in the opera house. I mean, that's what I live by. These things look like they that's should be heavy. Very during our first challenge, so I'm hoping that falls into this. It's in the opera house. Listen, the only thing I bothered prepping for. He put the he put it on Egypt. Egypt. Why waste my time on stuff I ain't gonna need in the big leagues? Like my mom always says. Work for the record, harder. France is no. in Europe. All right, I gotta fess up. Mama never said that one. That gym's all mine. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. Can't drag your good name through the mud. Put America that. upside down. He put the Leaning Tower in the wrong area. Any better. I would assume Seth is trying to take the easy way out by cheating. He definitely hasn't realized their podiums are labeled differently. Seth, all yours are wrong. You don't have the same label. Ha, <laughs> sucker. Gotta buy myself some time then. Peter, up and in. Paint the corner. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Bitch ass. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Ow. Ow. Ah, that's a cheap shot. Uh, I'm so bad these days. That's a strike in my book. Oh, don't make it. He found his Achilles heel. Don't let him win. This here is the leaning tower of pizza, right? Pizza, pizza, pizza. Italy. Man, pizza is Italian. Duh. Well, he's using, using like five percent of his brain. Ah, crud. Well, that's why I think oh, all the mozos of say Chile look like. So I'll just put this one here. Oh, don't let him win. Mother of, I, I mean, no rock. Where are the rocks? Yes! Like I said, I'm a fighter. You won't get rid of me that easily. Congratulations, Topaz. You Fire have strong. won this block battle <laughs> and have kept yourself in the game. Hey, man, you tried your best. That's all that matters. Are you kidding me? That right there was complete poppycock. How was I supposed to know our podiums ain't labeled the same? Hey, pay attention. Take it easy. Maybe pay attention. Frustrating, but that's why it's important to absolute bull honky. I should have never signed up for this competition to begin with. Uh, what's, what's she worried about anyway? now? Bunch of clout chases. Should have called this show Reality Rejects. <laughs> oh, uh, what an exit for our first. And of course, Isadora oh, is the one that likes that. Cause look at her face. Wow. So like, you totally had a good read on him after all. Seriously, thanks for pushing me to get rid of him sooner. He might have been a real problem down the so line. So Seth is the first one out. 
I'm proud of how I handle myself. Nothing feels and yep, he kept he actually kept his promise to Topaz. They'll second guess on nominate me again. Looks like I got what I wanted. <laughs> now I have Anna built enough trust with my squad moving forward. No early access for me at this party. It's in my blood to handle issues. But obviously, it's peace. definitely for only no, Annalise. I my stay too since the attention hog is gone. <laughs> I just don't get it, man. I should have. I like Seth, plans. but I really I'm wanted Topaz to stay. I'm walking away. With Everyone that, loves so. an underdog story. They got lucky. I probably wouldn't have been friends with them outside of here anyway. I just needed that exposure. And some cash wanted to hurt too. Hmm. It's tough. You know, being the first one, the victim, or the result. But that's the game. Uh, time to send you off to rejoin your actual team and enjoy more time riding the bench. Thanks for playing, Seth. Damn! <laughs> but we're so tiny. Seth officially gone. You should be more familiar with oh, the game now. Oh, nice one, Cheryl. <laughs> but this block isn't quite over yet. First, an update on your bets. Everyone selected Topaz, meaning everyone you all gets points. Earn additional legacy points. Well, everybody except Drew. <laughs> Bitch ass. I am not as easily brainwashed as all of you are. Finally, at the end of each phase, I have the privilege of awarding one tourist with a few extra points, fittingly deemed the host's favorite player. Ah, uh, doesn't it seem a little suspect that the host's bias gets to affect the game? Well, maybe you should think twice before speaking from here on out. <laughs> Probably would have done wonders for you back home. It would have done now, in wonders in general. My selection for this block is... Please be Brad. Topaz. Oh, Topaz. You know, that's fine, too. Did she show great poise for being the first nominee of the season. She also demonstrated exactly what it looks like to prepare adequately for a block battle. I appreciate it. And Brad, or er, not Brad, uh, Seth did not give a shit. Night four. Go rest up, because your next block begins tomorrow. Until then, tourists. The game has just begun. But I can already get the sense of who's here for the money and who's here for a vacation. Speaking of which, next episode, we'll be moving on from that theme. Hmm. Gonna be more brutal? One be? <laughs> You'll have to find out next time. Don't forget to access our website for my exclusive extended interview with Seth as well as our vacation vignettes to catch the clips that don't make the episode. For Reality Resorts, I'm Victoria Moore. Mm -hmm. Signing off. And with our martini. Damn, it was actually pretty good to get back into Reality Resort. Let me see if there's anything. Oh, there's Seth right there. You know what? No, I'm gonna like. I don't even click anything. It's just my mouse going crazy again. Okay, I actually can see the names because I did not remember some of these names. Oh, wait, no, these are just the voice actors. Okay, move on. Is Seth reading out the Patreons? We doing this adventure camp style? Alrighty, let's see here. Special thanks to all our Patreon Reality Resort Monarchs. I wonder if they're gonna Daddy react. Happy 17, Muhammad Kamara, Jankalope, Lime Productions, Bolt John, Jake Olvita, I told my vente conmigo. I, I might have failed Spanish twice. It's the same stuff, no too. Trevor fan. Mal. Alex should have won All Stars. Allies Gaming Dog. Storm. Thomas the Ryle Picks Queen. Vitamin V69. Nine. Zero Yang. Half a Jabby. Julian Loves Ellie. MM1234. Busy Joe Star. Alec was robbed and should have won the season. You know, I'm starting to think I might have something in common with this guy. <laughs> Hunter, please be my sugar baby. Hunter, I say consider it. Joel TDI. So, Goal 2911. Yeah, a bunch of adventure camp Rise guys. A parasite. Move on, Connor. You know what? You're right. You should also send me Rise contact information so that I can find out where she is and, and avoid her. No. And and lastly, but not leastly, 
Lucas LaPaolo. He's already moved on from Annalise and now wants to go for Rhea. Wow. Safe to say, very many rivalries were formed. Uh, I wanna... Like, I'm gonna put this, like, before I start, but I, 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 need, I need their names. Hold up. So she's Kylie, and that's Sarah. So, what I'm saying... What I was saying is, like, there's definitely very many rivalries are forming. So obviously, we knew Seth and Brad loved Annalise, and that's definitely the one reason Brad chose to vote... <laughs> to, chose to get him out. And I guess somehow he knew that he sucks at training. And then what else? There's definitely very many of rivalries. I think this was shown in the first episode that Sarah had feelings for Brad. And somehow I feel like that's going to neg negatively affect the next episode, considering how you saw Annalise's face in the episode. I feel like... And what, I think what makes it worse is that apparently Brad is a psychology student, so... I, I definitely feel like Brad's about to start breaking some hearts. And I guess Annalise and Sarah are not going to be in for a good time. Also, it was super satisfying to see Isadora punch Drew again. It's always a good time. Definitely think Isadora is starting to become one of my favorites. But in the end, I am definitely super glad that Topaz actually managed to survive this one. And goodbye, Seth. But as I said before, I have a feeling that's going to affect something between Brad, Annalise, and maybe even Sarah. And then what, what else was what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, Kylie. So who was it? It was Kylie, Kylie, Cheryl, and Finn. Seeing Kylie's f face light up, I have a feeling she's in. She's gonna be into Finn, and I have a feeling that's gonna be streamlined sometime down the line. I am so antsy, but I have a feeling we're not gonna be seeing the next episode for another month. So until then. Tell me what you guys think about what seems to be the very many new rivalries forming, and I'll see you guys then.